Today is August 8th, Tuesday, 2017. It is day 201 in the Donald Trump White House regime. Today, Donald Trump's Bible-thumping evangelical preacher says that God has given him the authority to go ahead and nuke North Korea if you want to. Go ahead. God has given you the authority through me, the Bible-thumping evangelical preacher. I wish I was making this shit up, but I'm not. I'm just reporting the news, and trust me, it's getting bizarre. But quite frankly, not surprising. I mean, what has been more responsible for more murder and killing and death and torture than any other ideology out there ever in the history of man, mankind. It's been religion. These books, these books that they thump on and they say there's this imaginary godlike person who gives you authority to kill other human beings. It, you just, again, you would think by now humans would be beyond this nonsense. There's no God up there that's going to tell you to kill other human beings. I mean, no, if there is a God, and I do believe that there is a God of the Gentiles, that God is a gentle God. He doesn't want you going out there and killing his masterpiece. You see, God is an incredible entity. He was able to create life. Not only human life, but all the animals, the creatures, the plants, the earth. He created everything. If you have a God that incredible, he's not going to want you to go around and destroying his creation. No, it's man. It's evil man who twists the words around. And he says, yeah, go ahead and kill that evil person because God says you have the authority. It's all bullshit. And that just tells me, if Donald Trump is listening to these morons, these idiots, evangelical Bible thumpers, they wouldn't know how to create a factory if their life depended on it. All they know how to do is scream, fire and brimstone, when what, what Americans really need is a factory. Could you imagine preachers and Bible thumpers, these 70-year-old assholes out there building a factory to put the young people to work? No. What kind of preachers say, yeah, put a gun in a boy's hand and go out there and commit murder? These are evil preachers. These are evil people. And it doesn't surprise me because now the government is in bed with religion. If you don't know, the government actually gives your tax money to religions. Yes, that's how far down we've gone. I think it was George Bush who gave it the okay. The governments are now giving your tax money to religions, so is it any, any surprise that the, the preachers are going to say, yeah, go out there, murder, kill. It's all good with God as long as the government gives us money. I'm, this, is, this is incredible. This is beyond alarming. There, I don't know why these people even listen to these preachers, but again, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this too much because it is really, really scary. For about six months now, mainstream media has been trying to convince Americans that it's okay for the military-industrial complex to use up some of their obsolete nukes. I mean, it'd be better to use them on North Korea than for them to go to waste. We have to experiment to see if they're actually effective. And what better way to do that except for a population? A population that's suffering already. For all we know, the leader of North Korea may be in on it. He's been trained in the Western schools. Yes, the leader of North Korea has been trained in the Western schools. He, went, he loves basketball. Maybe he's in on the scam. Laughing and cackling as he brings his people down. I mean, you cannot rule that out, that the North Korea leader is in on the whole scam. They've been trying. The only problem is, how will Americans take it? When we really unleash the fire and brimstone, will Americans be able to handle it? They're so tender. They're so sensitive now. They're on medication. They're self-medicating. We don't know if the Americans can handle any more war. Been doing this for 16 years now. We're going nowhere. We're trillions of dollars in a black hole. We're broke. We got no jobs. We're suffering. We got no pensions. We got no hope. 
Oh, they really care about what Americans think, don't they? Because there are 300 million of us. And how many are there of them? The elites in power. A tiny, tiny, tiny group of assholes. And they got to wonder, what will the 300 million Americans think when they unleash the fire and brimstone from the Bible-thumping leader of the free world? I wonder, I wonder what the God of the Gentiles is thinking. I think the God of the Gentiles took a break. I think he went to a far, far away universe because he gave up on us. He gave up on us when we started following the God Yahweh. Yes, that's what I think. I think the God of the Gentiles has given up on the Gentiles because we are nothing more than idiots and morons being led to slaughter. That's what Yahweh is going to do to the Gentiles. Lead them to slaughter. So congratulations, you 70-year-old Bible-thumping assholes. You're getting exactly what you want. You make me want to puke. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, I, I'm sure it did. As Putin said, it doesn't matter who's in the White House, they're all the same. If we do a Google on Donald Trump today, we get 301 million results in 0 .60 seconds. What's some of the news out there? They're talking about, well, this is really, really strange. President Trump has been sending private messages to Mueller. I'm, I think that's probably more than strange. It's probably might be illegal, but what do I know? I'm not a lawyer. We go to the real power in the White House, Jared and Ivanka. They're the handlers for the Golden One. They report directly to BB. Let's see. This is really interesting. You know, just recently, Jared has hired a public relations firm. I mean, his, his, his little schmeal, his little routine was getting so bad. I mean, we had every comedian this side of the Mississippi making fun of him. Of course, we, we, make, we do our fair share of making fun of Jared here on this channel. And it got so bad that Jared started thinking, you know what, maybe I am just a 36-year-old slumlord. Maybe I do need a public relations firm. And that's exactly what he went out and did. He went out and hired himself a public relations man. So, you, you know, things are going to be different now. Jared's not going to be making all those stupid mistakes anymore, supposedly. <laughs> but, well, let's hope he gives us a little bit to work on. Yeah, I got a funny feeling that these people are arrogant. Just like Hillary Clinton, he'll keep on giving us stuff to work with. And that's exactly who we hired for a public relations firm, a Hillary Clinton donor. Now, this is probably the best news of the day, or the funniest. Donald Trump actually gets a folder of propaganda, you know, good news about himself every day. He doesn't get that folder once a day. No, that's not good enough for the golden one. He gets a folder twice a day filled with propaganda. Now, to me, this folder must be really, really tiny or it's filled with Fox News propaganda. But just that alone is probably the funniest thing of the day. Can you imagine a man who has to have a folder given to it has to be patted on the back every day and told, I mean, the words that come to my mind are just delusional, narcissist, immature. He doesn't, he must not have much self-esteem. If I have to think to myself, what kind of self-esteem would I have if I needed somebody to give me a folder twice a day telling me how brilliant I was. I would think, well, first of all, I think I would have to go see a doctor quickly. Yes. If anybody ever finds out that I have some, I hire people to give me a folder twice a day of good news about Bravo Von Mule, <laughs> please, please, please tell, you know, please send me to a doctor because that person needs help. Well, let's continue with the real news. I got one more thought on this. I mean, they say North Korea says, okay, we'll, we'll do a preemptive strike on Guam. I mean, there are no reporters in North Korea. Does any Americans know how to speak Korean? I mean, 
Do Americans actually, have, have you ever heard the leader of North Korea say these crazy things? No. The mainstream media just tells you he said it, and millions of people believe it. You know the CIA, they actually have um, technology now where they can actually fake a real video. So they could actually show you a video tomorrow of the North Korean leader saying something stupid, and they could put the words in his mouth, and it would all be fake. They actually have that technology today. So what are you supposed to believe today? Mainstream media tells you that this crazy maniac is going to do a preemptive strike on Guam. There's nothing there on Guam. There's some rundown Air Force base we have there. Probably been there since World War II. We got some little Air Force. You know what the Air Force people used to say about Guam? The, to, get, to get the Air Force people to go there, they would say, oh, there's a pretty girl behind every tree. But the problem is, when you get to Guam, there was no trees and there are no pretty girls. But that's another story. My whole point is, who's to say they're not making all this shit up? It's probably all fake. I feel like I'm living in 1980. USSR. Propaganda. So what else we got there? High-end Manhattan real estate prices. Are they in a bubble? They're getting a price check, reality check. We'll keep on looking here. Radioactive plutonium detected in the air near the Hanford nuclear facility. They've pretty much kept hush-hush on these things, don't they? Mainstream media doesn't talk about these things. They'd rather talk about evangelical pre preachers. <laughs> evangelical nutjobs telling the, telling the president, yeah, go ahead. Record number of Dallas police officers quit. This does not surprise me at all. We've known this is going to happen for many years now. For a couple years. Now that the people are so angry and there's been so many bad things happening, the police are getting scared. Police, are, police say it's not worth it. Whatever money you're giving me, it's not worth it. And let's go, what else is they got here? Uh, Maxine Waters says, don't rule out. She will not rule out an all-black party. They really need one. That's what the elites don't want you to do. If you're an African-American out there, you should listen to... Farrakhan, Minister Farrakhan. Not only do you need your own black party, you need your own land. You need your land. You're, they're never, trust me, those masters, those people you're not allowed to talk about, they're never going to give you enough jobs. They're never going to give you enough money. They're going to keep you in Harlem. They're going to keep you in the ghetto. Yeah, you're going to have to get strong. Get yourself a, a black party, and then that black party will push out. You need a land. You need a section of land. Here, stateside. I mean, we know that after Civil War, you were given your own land over there in Africa. Actually, the country was formed a little bit before the Civil War. In, what is it, 1848, I believe. The Republic of Liberia. Now, the United Kingdom was the first country to recognize Liberia's independence. Now, this was the country, Liberia, where I think it was President Lincoln and many... Other people in America, after the Civil War, they encouraged a lot of the free slaves to go to Liberia. They thought they'd have a better chance over there in the new land in Liberia. Matter of fact, the first president of Liberia was a wealthy, free-born African-American man from Virginia, Joseph Jenkins Roberts. Many people may not be aware of Liberia, but the thing is this, I mean... I can, you know, many, many free slaves didn't want to go back there. They, so they, they stayed here in America. America was an incredible new world, an incredible new place. And many good things have happened. But the fact of the matter is, I do believe that Louis Farrakhan is correct. That they do need their own land. I believe many groups need their own land. Not only the blacks need their own land, I believe that the, the European tribes of North America, the Caucasians need their own land. Many people call them names, call them white national supremacists, all name calling. But California wants to break off. Maybe they could call it the snowflake land. Good for them. I don't think we should give them all of California, maybe just the southern part of California. We'll call it the new snowflake land. And, of course, look, what we're talking about here is the breakup of the huge federal government, aren't we? 
breakup of America because you got a lot of people who just don't get along anymore. And that's really not a surprise because they're filthy rich, they're arrogant, and many, many of us, us Gentiles, have to walk around picking up the breadcrumbs. Don't get me started. So I've already talked about it. They show us pictures of the crazy man, the North Korean leader. They show us pictures, but, you know, I don't believe it. Unless the guy's in on it, unless the North Korean leader is in on it because he was schooled in Western schools and he was placed there by some elite people. Nobody is that crazy to want all their people destroyed. Nobody's that crazy. So trust me, I just don't believe it. It's one way or another. It's either a false flag or it's a lie, but it's a scam. So we'll just wind this segment down looking for some interesting news. Imagine this. Wouldn't that be crazy if Kenya got an... Obama went down and became the president of Kenya. I mean, why not? He was the president of America. He, his father was from Kenya, our first Kenyan president. Go down there and be the president of Kenya. I mean, I'm, I'm all for it, please. If the Obamas leave the states and go to Kenya, I'm all for it, please. Maybe we could stop paying. Maybe we wouldn't have to pay for all that security detail. Maybe, we, maybe Americans would be better off. We'd be richer if we didn't have to take care of security for him and who knows how many thousands of people, his entourage. Donald Trump claims that his base is bigger than ever. Only thing I had delusional. Only word that comes to my mind on a statement like that is delusional. Didn't have to be that way. It happened after day 77. If he could only take day 77 back, could have been a really good administration, possibly. Did I tell you about that huge factory that broke ground in America that could employ 10,000 American people? Didn't tell you about that? No, because it didn't happen, because we got Bible thumpers out there saying it's okay to nuke foreign powers, foreign countries. Those North Koreans, they, I guess they're not even humans. To the Bible thumpers, the North Koreans are not even humans. That's why there was no factory built today. Because we got a bunch of 70-year-old Bible thumpers who are probably going senile. Some of them in the government. We actually, we, we actually have some of these senile people in our government. Lord, help us. The Lord of the Gentiles, that is.